Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're doing another What If video. So it has been too long since we last did one of these. I don't even know the last time we did the one of these. It must have been absolutely months ago at this point. I mean, I, I actually have no idea when we last did one of these. But um, but yeah, I've been looking through um, the uh, video requests um, to, um, chat in my Discord. So uh, your link to that is in the description. But I've been looking through it because I wanted to catch up on a lot of stuff in there since it has been too long since I've done it. And I saw this idea, which I really, really caught my attention, as this this is going to get insane. So the idea which I'm reading, it's from uh, the user KO here, so all credit goes to them for that. But yeah, um, they asked, what if every planet's equivalent mass to Earth was replaced to the Sun? So it said, um, for example, Jupiter is equal to 318 Earths in mass. So that means with his um, what if, it would be 318 solar masses. So whatever an object is in Earths, we're going to turn it into suns. So... This is going to get crazy. So, yeah, we'll just get straight into it, guys. So, yeah, we'll start off with Mercury here. Now, this one is actually less than um, one Earth. So, it's actually 0 0.553 Earths. So, how many suns is that? Hmm, I'm not sure because that one's obviously less. So, how many suns would that be? Oh, that's, uh, that's not a lot. So, whatever it is in Earth. So, 0 0.05. We'll just roll with that. So, we need to put it into suns and go 0 0.05. So that makes Mercury actually into a gas giant there. So we're just going to go ahead and leave that. So we're going to, we'll pause it as well just so nothing messes up. So again with Venus, looking very, very fine indeed. This modded one over here. Check this out. That custom Venus looking really, really cool there. So, right, Venus. So we'll need that in Earth. So 0 0.8. So we need to put that in suns. So 0 0.8. So that's gonna, that's gonna, this is gonna turn into chaos. I mean, Venus is already a star. Right, next up we've got Mar or Earth, sorry. So Earth's obviously one Earth, so that's a nice simple one. So that's one Sun. Oh god, this is gonna get hectic. Alright, then we got the Sun. I'm oh, not Sun, sorry, Earth. So Mars is 0 0.1, so it'd be 0 0.1 Suns for Mars. There we go. So even that turns into a star. Um, we'll do a few other notable objects like Ceres and stuff. So Ceres, this doesn't, isn't anything, so... 0 0.0001 okay so 0 0.1231 so that, that doesn't really do much to series anyway it's so minor already it doesn't really multiply up much right so there's series now oh okay jupiter 317 earths that's not entirely right what's going on there anyways so yeah, it's normally 318 so this is going to be 318 suns that's gonna that's gonna be real trouble Right, then we've got uh, 95, so nice easy, 95 for Saturn, they all turn into the blacked out stars. Uh, Uranus is 14.5, so we'll just go, yeah, 14.5, there we go, oh dear. And uh, then we've got Neptune over here, oh, I'm so sorry, I don't have to do this to you, 17, suns, there we go. We'll do it with Pluto as well, and um, Eris, the other two like notable um, objects. Um, so, what is the Pluto in Earth's? So, 0 0.222, okay, 0 0.002, there we go, it doesn't really do much to Pluto, and I'm guessing it won't do much to Eris either, nice reflective guy there, so, um, Earth, so 0 0.002, it's going to be exactly the same as Pluto here, so 0 0.002, there we go, so now compared to Earth, it's a little, uh, 666 Earths, what's that, it's quite a lot there, right, so moving on to, um, I guess we'll do Sedna. Why not? So, Moon. I'm not, no, Earth, sorry. Zero point, so, it's triple zero four now. Alright, so 0 0.234. There we go. So that's a lot of those. And then, and then we'll do Planet 9 as the last one as well. Uh, wherever that is. So, over here. So, that's just 10 Earths. So, this will be 10 Suns. Right. Here we go. So, look at all the red in here. This is going to be absolute chaos. So, we're definitely going to have to go ahead and save this first. So, um, yeah, let me just go ahead and change all that. Um, right, this is the um, custom simulation as well. So, right, um, I'm gonna just gonna call it. Cray I'll just call it Earth masses in suns. In case anything goes wrong, we can go back to it. So Earth masses in suns. There we go. Just save that. There we are. Right. So we'll do a few scenarios. This we'll do auto orbit. We'll also do it the way like it's already like. So just like Mercury is really the only thing that's left. And also the calculated radius is off. So if we switch that on, I'm pretty sure if we do, it's just going to... Yeah, it's going to Nova. Okay, so yeah, never mind that. We'll have to go into... Um, yeah, we'll just open it up again. Just call it Earth. This is... There we go. 
Right, Earth mass is in the sun. So we can't use auto or, or um, calculated radius. I was there all going to go crazy. Oh, God. Now we made it even worse. Oh, dear. There, that's Jupiter there. Where, where's the sun? Sun? There you are. Oh, dear. This is... As <laughs> soon as we click play, we're going to have real trouble. So, yeah. Anyways, we'll get a quick scale of them all again. So Uranus... Yeah, this is... This is really crazy stuff. I mean, the inner planets have made, got bigger, fine, but the gas giants seem to have stayed the same size. Oh, look how big Sedna is. Oh, then we got tight to access some of the moons. Look at Mercury, still pretty small. Pretty sure we can make that a little bigger. Oh, it doesn't even do anything. Okay, so Mercury's got 54 Jupiters now, but only it's still the same size. All right, anyways, enough of me uh, faffing around. Let's go click play. Right. So, let's see what goes down here. So, how quick can we even run this? Oh, there's already stuff shooting out. It looks like Titan has just been completely launched away from Saturn there. Oh, dear. I wonder what Callisto's doing around Jupiter. They'll probably just smash into it, I'm guessing. Oh, oh you can see it. Earth, Mercury. Oh, they're all going to start pulling into the sun now. How are the orbits doing? I mean, that's pretty crazy. But Jupiter has 318 suns, which far dominates all of the other masses in here. So Jupiter's probably going to, yeah, it's pulling everything towards it. So as soon as the first object um, of any sort of mass hits Jupiter, so it won't be Ceres, for instance, but as soon as an another star collides with Jupiter, that's where this is going to really light up with the fireworks. Okay, so Ceres actually managed to survive that encounter um, right there. So we'll slow it down a bit more. This is traveling in hours, so that's been launched away at a very high speed. So, 0 0.02 light speed there. Okay, how's Chiron doing over here? That's going to get pulled in by the looks of it as well. All right, there's the Pascal um, asteroid. That's getting launched away. So, these may actually orbit Jupiter now. Okay, Venus. It looks like all oh, Venus or Saturn. Who's going to collide first? I think it's going to be Saturn. All right. Be, it would be nice if all these stars are actually uh, lit up. Actually, what we can do is we use it on a dark or a lighter background, for instance. So if we go to, uh, we'll go to grey. Uh, solid grey, there you go. So now we can actually see where the other objects are. So, yeah, we'll slow this down. Click play. Oh, oh my god, what was that? <laughs> what happened there? That was so quick. Oh, they've just completely ejected each other. Look, this one's now travelling 0 0.08 light speed. So that is just being completely shot out um, there. So there we go. But now we've got Venus coming in next. But yeah, that massive mass on Jupiter is just nuts compared to everything else. There's Venus. Look how big it is. So it doesn't even look like that's going to come for a collision either. It looks like that's going to fly around as well. So trails. Yeah, look, it is um, not heading towards Jupiter. It seems it's going to be pulled out. But I think Jupiter's also been tossed out as well with that encounter with Saturn. So yeah, they've been thrown out. So is that just going to... Since the largest object mass now has just been tossed out, is that just going to mean everything else just flies off in its own direction? I think it is. Yeah. I think that's killed it already because Jupiter and Saturn, the two largest ones, have just been thrown out. That is uh, that's very sad. Not, not really much went down there. I was hoping for a collision. Got the Sun and Neptune there, but don't think they're going to collide either. All right, let's go in and reopen now. Maybe if we slow it down, maybe Saturn will actually hit Jupiter. So let's try that again. If it stays the same, then I don't think we can uh, try any other scenarios. So, right, so we'll close all that. Right, so there's Jupiter. So we're going to click play. And we've got to really keep an eye on where... Uh, let's just launch this Callisto and Titan out. Look at those guys. They just get completely tossed out. So the trails. Go back on the grey. There we go. So we just have to keep an eye on where um, Saturn heads, because that's going to be... Uh, the biggest crash. So if we slow it down and actually see them collide, maybe that will uh, help. Oh, there you go. So Jupiter does suck everything, as you as you can see there. So there you go. It's just, they're just going to start pulling each other more and more, but Jupiter's just going to reject a lot of the things. So ooh, Venus or Saturn? I think it'll be Saturn again, won't it? So come on. Any second now they're going to pull in. So I'm going to have to really click pause at the right time. So I'm going to pause it there. They are... Very, very close. And it looks like, I want to say they're going to collide this time. Maybe it's just because I was running it too fast last time. Because sometimes when you run it fast, you get different results to when you run it slow. So this could be completely different if I have it slower here. But you can see the speed is really accelerating on the menu here. Look at that speed go up. So there we go. They may, may actually collide this time. I mean, they look like they're on point to doing it. You can see the Sun and Venus over there as well. Going to just speed it up a little bit more. So they are approaching. Oh, they're getting very close now. So we'll get, try and slow it down to get exactly the right time for collision. This is happening in seconds as well. So these are just... Yeah, they're colliding all right. So here we go. So 
We'll slow it down even more. There you go. They're colliding. Any second now. And they go. Oh, that's a big one. Okay, so they both collided. Saturn has been destroyed. I wonder if that will warm up Jupiter so it won't be dark anymore. What is under there? Is there actually... Is that a gas giant in there? Oh, no. It's still, it's still the blacked out star. Okay, I almost thought it looked like a gas giant. So that's caused two Novas right there. So that's going to cause a lot of trouble. But since Jupiter is now still here... Does that mean Venus is going to get pulled in as well? Oh, it's only running at milliseconds. Oh, that's a lot of lag. There we go. Right, so that has caused an enormous explosion in there. How's Jupiter doing? Oh, Jupiter's gone black hole now. Look at that. So Jupiter's completely turned into a black hole. Its radius has changed. It's actually lost a bit of mass as well. It's only got 15 suns. So these these massive clouds, they must have a lot of masses of sun. They have 318 suns in mass there. So all of the Jupiter and Saturn mass that they had has just been tossed out. There, so right there's the Novas uh, heading out. So, what's gonna collide next? Some pretty, there's got to be more than one collision in here with all of this craziness. So, okay, I think Venus may challenge the black hole. Well, we all know that how that's gonna win. The black hole's gonna win. It, it's, it's got more mass as well, and also it's a black hole that's gonna just destroy everything anyway to orbit. So, they orbiting. I mean, this is still just a complete mess here. That black hole is going nuts. Can they do anything? No. Well, it seems like Jupiter and Saturn is really the only major event that really happens in all of the other objects and remaining planets. They've just been, they just got pulled in. They've just gone past it. So I'm guessing the collision must have uh, derailed Jupiter from where the other objects would have hit it. So they've just flown past. So there's all of those guys. Maybe Uranus or Neptune maybe will get interfere with the black hole, but doesn't seem like Uranus is. Oh, no, it looks like, no. May have some orbits going on here. It looks like uh, Jupiter is... Well, it looked like it was interacting with Neptune there for a brief second, but yeah, all of the inner solar system, the suns actually survived as well. So they're all just going to fly away. I'm guessing all of the smaller dwarf objects probably would, look, would get destroyed by that nova as well, but it looks like Saturn or uh, Neptune and Uranus are trying to get in a binary orbit over there. Maybe that'll end badly eventually. Yeah, they're in a binary orbit, so those guys have actually just... Yeah, they're just doing their own thing now, um, Neptune and Uranus. So, yeah, instead of 17 Earths, we've got 17 suns, so... It's annoying the supernova didn't heat them up because sometimes novas heat up other stars in the system, but not this time apparently. So those guys are just, yeah, they're in a binary. Oh, and then that binary ended eventually, so it wasn't completely stable. So they've just completely tossed each other out. And yeah, everything's just been tossed out. The whole inner solar system, they, they're fine. Jupiter. Um, yeah, Pluto got pretty warmed up from that nova. Uh, Eris as well. Look how reflective that is when it heats up. That's pretty cool. Planet 9 as well. That's probably not going to get affected much. Sedna warmed up. But yeah, the, it seems like the only thing that really goes on here is Jupiter and Saturn, the two biggest ones with the most mass. They have a little collision, pulling each other in the two titans of the ga or titans of the system. They put each other in, cause Nova, uh, form this new black hole, and then all of the other objects just get completely lunged out and into the middle of nowhere. Just gone for good. I mean, they're not coming back. So yeah, there you can see. If we just continue speeding this up now, they're long gone. I'm guessing the object... Yeah, look how far away that one is. Ceres. I wonder what happened to the uh, Callisto. And um, are they still in here? Yeah, that's all that's left. So a lot of the dwarf planets were gone, yeah. Um, looks like Callisto and Titan have vanished. So they must have got destroyed. So, yeah, there are those. But Sedna, just about surviving as well. Because since we made it larger, it's got enough mass to actually hold on and survive that Nova. And same with Pluto as well. Since we increased the mass, they've got more... Um, survival rate now which is pretty cool but yeah that does it for today's video guys because as you can see we did two tests there we both pretty much got the same results where Jupiter and saturn just fly at each other and then the other ones just all get ejected so that seems to be the conclusion for this one so yeah special thanks to ko in my discord for uh, requesting this idea because i did i did like the look of it as soon as i saw it i was like oh i'm making a video on that so yeah, yeah. what if every planet's equivalent mass to the earth was replaced to the sun pretty cool idea it's nice to um come back to these uh what if videos as well because you know they're always going to be insane I mean, we've done loads of them now, but yeah, if you've got any more ideas, feel free to leave them down in the Discord or the comments below as well, because I do want to get back into doing these more. But yeah, that is everything, guys. So make sure you like the video. Let's see if we can go for 30 likes in this video. Subscribe if you're new. Helps on our journey to 8,000 subscribers. And yeah, just a massive thanks for watching this video as well, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.